Okay, question number 1a, it's a derivative, it's one mark. So all I need to do is list the derivative. I've got something to the power of 5. So I've got something to the power of 5. So its derivative is going to be 5 times that something to the power of 4, then the derivative of that something. So x squared plus 3x plus 2. Then dy dx will equal 5 times that to the power of 4. The derivative of the inside is x squared becomes 2x, and the plus 3x becomes plus 3, and there is your final answer. In part b, it's a quotient rule question. I've got an x in the numerator and an x in the denominator. So u is the numerator, which is the tan of x. So u dash, formula sheet tells you sec squared of x which remember is 1 on cos squared of x. And v equals 3x, so v dash equals 3. So let's write the derivative, and that will give me 1 on my method marks. So it is the quotient rule. So it's v u dash minus u v dash on top of v squared. So where's my v? There's my v times this. So 3x times 1 on the cos of x squared minus u times v, 3 tan of x, all on top of 3x all squared. So that's going to give me one of my two marks. I actually have to evaluate the derivative at x equals pi on 3. So h dash of pi on 3 will be 3 times pi on 3, 1 on top of the cos of pi on 3 squared minus 3 times the tan of pi on 3 all over 3 times pi on 3 squared. So notice that my 3s cancel. The tan of pi on 3 in my memorized table is equal to root 3. The cos of pi on 3 in my memorized table is a half. So the cos of pi on 3 squared is a half squared, which is 1 quarter. So what have we got? The 3's cancel. That's so going to leave me with pi times 1 on 1 quarter minus 3 times root 3 all on pi squared which is 4 pi minus 3 root 3 on pi squared, and that's the final answer.